Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Joy. It's a revelation in the dealings of God with men that very few people have understood. Very few people have understood the mystery and the role that joy plays in granting that a believer walks in the experience of victory. Now, please follow me very carefully. You're dealing with a meeting here that talks about shouting and I want to show you the mystery of joy. Joy is a requirement to get the intervention of God in a man's life. It is not only faith. It is not only prayer. Joy is a principal requirement. If a man will experience the hand of God, the Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4 that we should rejoice in the Lord always rejoice in the lord always and again i repeat rejoice he never said rejoice in results rejoice in the lord there is a name he is called the god of salvation rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice apostle james now was talking to us in chapter 1 and verse 2 james chapter 1 and verse 2 he says to count it all joy brethren he's mentoring believers and he's saying my brethren count it all joy not all loss when you fall into diverse temptations count it reckon it express joy in the midst of it and the revelation is in verse 3 it says knowing this that means there must be something you know for your joy to be there knowing this you are privy to an information that keeps you consistent regardless of results knowing this there is something you have to know for you to be unbending why should i stand in the midst of pain and still rejoice why should i lose a loved one and still rejoice why should i stand in the midst of obvious shame and disappointment and still rejoice why should i be a testimony of doom and still rejoice he says knowing this there are things that you know he said for we know that all things they may not know but we are privy to this information that all things can work together for them that love the Lord and those who are the called according to his purposes. Now look up please. It is natural for men to mourn. Jesus himself wept. Are we together? Jesus wept at funerals. Jesus was angry when a tree did not produce the kind of food he needed to eat. So, we see that the humanity of Jesus played out in his earthly ministry. And so, people can get angry, people can weep. But God is teaching us a lesson that there is a position that a believer can stand. You can posture yourself by revelation and you will always win, not just in the battles of life, but you will find yourself consistently walking in victory in this kingdom and the bible says for anyone at all who by intelligence can access this oil that the bible calls the oil of joy you must be anointed to be joyful joy is not something that humans can do all the time it is not given to men to be consistent regardless of circumstances please look up the reality of our humanity does not allow us to laugh and marry all the time when you stand before a dead body of your loved one and you laugh and rejoice they will call for a meeting and ask you what sponsored that wicked disposition as they would call it if you stand in the midst of fire 
and stand in the midst of pain and laugh and rejoice the bible testifies that you are not normal are we together now yes that means that when i see something that gladdens my heart i rejoice when i see something that causes pain i should not rejoice i should follow through but when a believer remains consistent regardless of the vacillations of our results the bible says that there is a grace that sponsors that consistency it is called the oil of joy thy throne O god is forever because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows joy is a requirement for supernatural intervention god does not intervene just because he's a mighty god there are requirements that mandate and allow his presence to come listen very carefully the bible tells us that paul and silas were two people who on account of the gospel are we together now they were held bound with chains hand and feet and the bible says they were kept in custody of a jailer they knew listen with the kind of pain and humiliation that they had gone through there was no reason to even pray but the bible says at midnight at midnight they knew that if they would get god to intervene they must engage this principle and the bible says paul and silas prayed they didn't pray because they were served dinner they didn't pray because the jailer said i will smuggle you out the bible says they prayed and they sang in the midst of it remember that there is a law in this kingdom you only reap when there is joy there is no guarantee for a harvest even if you planted a seed until joy allows it he says that those that sow in tears they will reap not with joy in joy it's a realm that allows harvest please follow me very carefully and so they began to rejoice in the lord and then the bible says that there was an earthquake and suddenly the chains fell off and the jailer wanted to kill himself and he said no 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 we are here we are safe there's no need to hurry if you bind us again it's a principle that works all the time there is no hurry we we have mastered the art of bringing ourselves out of any prison that when we're in the prison we don't talk about the prison because the name of god under situations of pain is the god of salvation yahushua the one who can show up and bring salvation and save to the uttermost the oil of joy the oil of gladness listen very carefully there are two things that joy produces in the life of a believer that i want to just touch on and then we'll pray number one according to nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 joy is the principal sponsor of the strength of a believer nehemiah chapter 8 please and verse 10 it says neither be ye sorry don't walk as if there is no hope it says for the joy of the lord is your strength please say that with me mina the joy of the lord is my strength one more time the joy of the lord is my strength it says neither be ye sorry that means there is a way out of that tragedy there is a way out of that situation and it says the joy your strength in this kingdom is the joy of the lord remember the bible testifies that if you turn aside in the day of battle the diagnosis is that your strength is small paul prayed a prayer and pray that the believers be strengthened in their inner man and i'm showing you that one of the systems that make for strength is that you must be full of joy that the joy of the lord supplies strength what is strength the stamina the fortitude to remain until you win it's called strength but the people that do know their god the bible says they shall be strong There are times that the battles of life are not won overnight. It may take time. 
Oh, Abraham, you may need 25 years. Do you have the stamina to wait? If you cannot wait, you will always give birth to what will fight your promise. When your strength is weak, Ishmael will come and interrupt what Isaac should become and do. It takes strength. All the days of my appointed time, I will wait. Waiting is the hardest thing for a believer to do. Not praying, not fasting, waiting. Because five minutes to your breakthrough, it will still not look like it. It takes stamina. Please listen to me. It takes stamina to remain when your wife cannot take in after two, three years. All kinds of options begin to fly. And when you go to God, he will tell you what he told you before the marriage and act like he's not aware of what is happening. It takes strength in the spirit to remain. It takes strength in the spirit to remain when the ministry is not growing. And having invested efforts and everything, you're not getting the kind of result you should get. You usually will feel like giving up. But the joy of the Lord that is based on a revelation. Ah. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Not our deliverer. I don't know what you believe in. The Bible says some trust in horses. Everybody cannot trust in the name of our God. Some trust in horses, some chariots. But for us and for me, I know that though he slay me, I will trust him. I know that it is within his power to save me. Huh. Say to those that are fearful hearted, do not lose your faith. The Lord your God is strong and with his mighty hands when you call on his name. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. The Bible already tells us that while we look not at the things that are seen, that means the things that are seen can deceive. They act like they will remain forever. The poverty will act like it cannot go. The challenge will, let me tell you, challenges are bold. They have an audacity that intimidates. There is something about God you need to sponsor your stamina while they stare at you. Every challenge looks immovable until God comes. Please listen to me. The joy of the Lord is your strength. A man can be depressed. Have you seen lately the rate at which people literally, I mean, they depress themselves to death. They go to the hospital and they cannot find out what is wrong. And the person will tell you, I cannot think. I'm, I'm just depressed. Notice that the character of depression is that it brings you to a point of silence. Where you cannot talk, you cannot celebrate. Hmm. The joy of the Lord, bringing strength and vitality. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to come out of this situation, but I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The Bible speaks about scripture. And says, all things that are written aforetime, please look at me. He said that they are for our learning. So that we, through the comfort of scripture, might find hope. The meaning of that is that there are times in your life where you do not know and you are not sure whether or not God can show up over that issue. The Bible tells you to make reference to scripture and check. Has God showed up for someone like that? If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. 
If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. In the Bible, God lifted men. In the Bible, God delivered men. In the Bible, people slept as prisoners and woke up as prime ministers. In the Bible, women who were village girls within months became the wives of kings. In the Bible, farmers became prophets. In the Bible, prostitutes joined the lineage of Jesus. The Bible says that these are archives to encourage you to sponsor joy. So that if and when I do not know how my life is going and I cannot explain what is happening, I can check through scripture and say, I know God is faithful. Jehoshua, the God of my salvation, he will show up for me. And as bold as this challenge looks, I know that if I join to cry, listen, the moment there is weeping, God's power cannot come. It takes joy. Joy is a magnet. Listen to me. I know that it is human to cry. It is human to grieve. But it's a spirit that continues to drive breakthrough. Away from you. You must sustain an impartation that grants you the grace to smile through storms. You don't smile because things have changed. You smile and rejoice to change them. If you wait for things to change for you to have joy then they will never change that's why it's called joy in the Holy Ghost it is it, it is a possibility that comes from a dimension that is not normal for men to have please listen to what I tell you I have seen this in my life and I've seen this even while I minister that people who are sad and angry and frustrated and gloomy almost never receive God has to find a way to prime their joy. And if it does not work, the anointing comes directly on them to laugh. Laugh, laugh away space for God to come and bless them. Because it, it seems as though their, their hearts are close towards the things of God. Joy is powerful. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The first thing joy does is to produce health and vitality it is true that when joy dries up you will be like the tree that has been cursed number two psalms 67 joy is responsible for extraordinary fruitfulness you want your life to be fruitful beyond measure Joy is a requirement. Psalm 67, we'll start from verse 1. Please give it to us quickly. God is changing someone's life this morning. It says, be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Verse 2, that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among the nations. Verse 3 now, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 4. Oh, let the nations be what? Glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Verse 5. It says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then, not before, then shall the earth that means while you are mourning, the earth still has the potential to bless you. But your lack of joy will not allow the power of God move upon the earth to bless you. I hope you know that this earth is talking about is not just the ground. Your helper is also made of earth. And there is increase within him. Your destiny helper is a piece of earth that can be used to yield his increase. And the earth whether as your boss and the earth whether as your landlord and the earth 
as any one of your destiny helpers can yield their increase. And then he says, and God, even our own God shall bless us. Show me a man who understands the revelation of joy. I show you a man who can turn anything around. Anything around. It sounds very simple. But I tell you, this is at the back of the continuation of the pain and the tragedy of so many people. In ministry, in business, we come back gloomy, we come back angry, and we are frustrated. And you know, you will always find a reason to be unhappy, especially in our side of the world today. You will always find a legitimate reason to be angry. Look at me. Let me tell you this. Did you know that the moment you are frustrated, the natural effect is that you will want to see others frustrated as a way of healing you from that frustration. If you are angry, you will want others to be angry for you to be happy. For some reason, men are designed that way. A happy man will want to produce happy people. An angry person will want to transfer that anger to others. The joy of the Lord is my strength and that when i rejoice the earth can bring its increase there are always legitimate reasons please hear me listen very carefully there are always legitimate reasons why we are angry while we are gloomy it looks like things are not working in around our lives but those who understand the joy of the lord are people who will continue to stand when you look at them you do not know when they are passing through storms and when they are having a very good time there is no difference because they are always happy how are you today bless the lord bless the name of the lord i just heard that your mother went to be with the lord last week yes it's true but i give god glory the lord give it the lord take it blessed be his name so how are you going to do about that rent now well i know that god will provide god is a mighty god he will supply be real be real use your common sense wisdom is profitable to direct i understand that's why the wisdom directed me to be joyful in the lord you see that show me a man listen I teach you what I live by you will never at any point find me sit down in regret trying to say Lord you did not do this Lord you have not yet done this Lord when will you do this Lord have you done this Lord you did not finish doing this my life is ever joyful as a revelation it's a risk to lose joy it's a risk in this kingdom when you lose joy. I will sing and I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will sing and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you hear it because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see God is not a man Mina he does not lie if he speaks even if it's a mistake it must look like his mistake he he cannot lie hallelujah i teach you how to cheat life i teach you how to play life like a chess you will always find a reason to not be happy listen to me things will always find a way of attempting to mock god in your life the greatest mistake you will make is to turn and start discussing your pain because everything you continue to meditate upon grows and so you find out that the mountain continues to grow turn your back from away from the mountain and focus on Jehoshua the God who is able to save I will rejoice in the God of my salvation he is able to save to the uttermost it was a principle in scripture that the nation of Israel were given as a secret. That every time they went to battle and their enemies compassed them and it was clear that defeat was imminent. Every time they noticed that they were 
the enemies were greater than them God taught them to drop their swords notice the nation of Israel never fought if it was clear that the enemies were greater than them they used another strategy they would stop and say worshipers come to the front this battle now if we dare use knives they will kill us like chickens we need to engage another mystery you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah it was a chant it was a formula given to them that when all things fail invoke the mercy of god and his goodness and the battle will turn around completely god is speaking to someone this morning people have already prophesied your life and they are right except for this morning everything they said is supposed to happen without any effort you are already in all kinds of traps but watch the power of joy joy is a magnet it puts pressure on the power of God it puts pressure on the integrity of God son you have a reason to cry and yet you refuse to cry even if you cry you turn your cry into a song and you sing and dance and rejoice listen to me it was the dance of a small girl that removed the head of a prophet now that's very dangerous a prophet an army came to attack Elijah he called fire on them yet John the Baptist the greatest prophet when a lady rejoiced before a king his head went for it joy let me tell you how the Holy Spirit works it have you gone to pray sometimes over a situation you drag yourself to the place of prayer as if you are going for a funeral and you lock the door and you don't even know how to start do I say our father in heaven do I say God have mercy what 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 will be the the starter of my prayer and suddenly it looks like a joke while you are praying in tongues somewhere in your prayer it's like an impartation comes joy songs begin to come sometimes songs that are only for that secret place when you finish prayer you cannot remember the songs again and notice not every song will minister to you because at that point the songs are ladders you are climbing your way out without knowing you are not just singing i show you how it works god wants to come but your heart is closed in anger in pain there is no way you can reap because there is no joy and then he finds a way by his spirit he can use a song he can use something that gives you gladness and all of a sudden you will find out that a well of joy is in your heart and usually when that well comes you will find a song listen one of you know that you are walking in joy when you don't lack songs lacking songs is proof that something is wrong with your joy life it has nothing to do with a being a musician you receive these songs and you begin to sing them sometimes you cry while you are singing them and satan the master of the flesh realm is projecting the difficulties before you finish that prayer and and address the issue of your child here your child is about to die this is stage four cancer it's about to kill him and you forget about your child and begin to sing and begin to rejoice and sometimes you begin to dance like a fool and sometimes you begin to sweat singing and dancing for a long time you are allowing the mighty God the God of your salvation to show up I tell you he will turn things around when you allow him to Many years ago, we were going to have, that would be our first crusade. On our way going, the program was going to start by five. And at about two, three, we were still on our way going. And the car spoiled. There was nothing we didn't do to that car. The car refused to start. And it was not in a place where we would easily get a mechanic. It was a very serious situation. And then one of us just took the guitar and started to play out of frustration 
you know, just felt, what do I stand to lose? And he started playing the guitar. And then we started praying in tongues, and then one person would join, then one person would join, then one person would join. True story, I tell you the truth and I lie not. Eventually, we started blasting in tongues and praying. Such an impartation of joy came upon us. Did you know they kicked that car? It was like a joke. And it started like that and took us down to that crusade ground. I have seen the power of joy. I have seen people who they have finished employment and it was very clear that they would not get anything. But they went back and said, Lord, you forgot to add my name. Let me remind you. I cannot remind the boss. I don't have his number. I cannot remind the HR department, but I can remind you. I know how to get to you. You know how to get to them. You are called the father of spirits. So I will save myself the stress of looking for a manager and lobbying around. And they lock their door and rejoice and dance like madmen. And while they are doing that, they are allowing the God of their salvation. God will begin to move and say, stand up and change this. Stand up. People have gotten all kinds of victories because they understood joy. Kenneth Copeland asked Bishop Oyedeko one time and said, you claim we are the ones who mentored you in church growth and faith. How come you have all of this large crowd? And Bishop Oyedeko, according to him, he laughed and said, I danced every one of these people. I danced them one by one in the spirit. You can dance your prosperity you can dance your healing. You can dance your child. You can sing your victory. You can sing the key that is missing to enter your hand back. Where is the key that opens this door? It's missing. I tried to search and I did not find it. I maintain my joy. And with that joy, there will always be restoration. Yet, I will rejoice. Yet, I got the report, but yet I will rejoice. There's somebody in this nation, I will not mention the name. The first time he produced his album, it was as if he, he produced it just for his family members. After the labor, you can imagine how painful that kind of thing is. When you invest time, energy, and all you know to do. And he got in touch with me and said, Apostle, I don't understand the meaning of this nonsense. God called me, I'm sure I'm called into the music ministry. And I told him, I said, don't worry, my friend, rejoice sing the same songs sing them alone in your room if nobody is inviting you rejoice and while that guy began to rejoice god gave him one song that has opened him up now and opened the nations for him please do not underestimate the power of joy there are things that have happened in my life on account of joy you can lock yourself in the room and open every other door while you are locked you are opening doors, strange doors, that people will say, how are you doing it? It is the power of joy, the joy of the Lord, being your strength. There are people who die before they die. There are people who fall before they fall. They give up easily at life. Preachers packing up, saying, look, I'm tired of this ministry. Business people going down, all kinds of people going down. But let me tell you this, hear me. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tent of the righteous. It was that shout of joy that made them victorious in the first place. So if they keep it and it becomes their habitation, then there will be no reason again for mourning. When I found this principle in my life, I knew that I found my way out of trouble. Every time I am in the midst of anything that looks unpleasant, whether for me, whether for ministry, whether for my family, I don't have the time to sit down and discuss and say, Kai, you see the way this life is, Nigeria. Huh? This is November. Look at the way my life is. You talk like that is exactly what you will see. Is God speaking to us? Apostle, you don't know the situation I'm at now. I'm not even sure if I'm still a student or not. The last time I saw the carryovers, I couldn't even see the end. I just turned my face and left. Are we together? Apostle, you don't know how many people I'm owing right now. I'm owing millions and billions. I cannot even sleep. It's a choice. Listen to me. Let me tell you this. If crying does not solve the problem, try joy. 
Because in any case, you are already in trouble. So don't be afraid to explore. You are already in trouble. There should not be fear when your fear has met you. You should have the courage to explore. The rent must be paid. It's 500,000. How much do you have now? 7,000, home and abroad. Have the freedom to explore because in any case, you are in trouble. You have tried crying. You called your uncle. He said, you didn't call me last week. I'm so sorry. If you had only called me last week, but you can turn back and say, Lord, I don't know the name of the trouble I'm in, but I know the name of the Lord God that is a strong tower, and I choose to rejoice. Makapo shala And while you are saying that all kinds of calls that are threatening you are coming, and you are rejoicing, somewhere along the line, Yehoshua, the God that saves, will show up. He will show up like a mighty man of war that he is, and turn things around. I have seen this in ministry. I have seen this in life. I've shared my testimony. When I, I, was, I was shown a vision of my mother's funeral, I was watching in a vision like I'm watching people. My mother's funeral, case closed. People were crying. Don't feel bad if you've lost your loved one. I saw everything go down and I was so touched. And when everything was done, I prayed after prophesying. I celebrated God and rejoiced. Let me tell you, my mother is healthier than many of you in this place. She's alive. It's true. Very healthy, very agile. It's possible she's even following this meeting now. Health and vitality. The mortality rate in Africa continues to drop because of this. Although we are the happiest people, they say, Yet we are the ones that die more. That means we need to check what we are doing. Are we together now? Yes. Have you seen people drive themselves to death? Alone on the road. He's driving and he's calculating. 75,000 plus 850. Uh, roughly. Five, and then the next thing he's dead. You see young people walk on the road as if they are mad. They stand on the road and they are just calculating. 900,000. Ah, is it not supposed to be? All, and you are saying, what are you doing, sir? Is, no, no, no. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I refuse to act like one who does not have a Savior. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. You are mighty to say forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus sing one time savior savior he can move the mountain my god is mighty to say you are mighty to say forever the author of salvation you rose and conquered the grave so when persecution comes count it all joy they meet you in the office and say do you know that they are discussing you right now we're about downsizing and i clearly heard them calling your name you say, no problem, God is faithful. No. Hey! So this is how this life will be. No, no, no. Somebody shout, no way. Amen. Don't give the devil permission to destroy the word of God concerning your life. Insist, maintain your space, gather your strength and stand. I will not bend. Satan, you will not see my tears, not for you. I will cry before the Lord and I will worship, but not for you. I know there are mountains all before me, but I trust in the Lord with all my heart. And I lean not on my own understanding, the Bible says, in all my ways, I acknowledge him and he shall direct my path. He says, be not wise in your own understanding. He says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. I know that my Redeemer lives and I know that God will arise as a mighty man. 
The psalmist said, many are they that trouble me, Psalm 3. Many are they that rise up against me. But here is his testimony. But thou, O Lord, he says, you are a shield for me, that you are my glory. Here is the prophecy, the lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my head. While you are discussing Jesus that died, he only died for three days. He didn't die forever. While you are discussing the Jesus that died, he's already a is arisen already the men in emmaus were talking about the jesus that died whereas he had risen rejoice not over me my enemies i may fall but even in the pit i rejoice listen to me joy is powerful he put a new song in my mouth the bible says the song of praise to our god it says many will see and fear and put their trust in him This is my life. I truly live a very peaceful life. And I truly live a very joyful life. There's a joy that I have. In spite of all the sadness that surrounds me. And this joy in my heart only comes alive every time I hear your voice there's a peace in my heart in spite of all the troubles that surrounds me and this peace in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching